Hi boys and girls, welcome to Cool School. Miss Booksy here with one of my favorite nursery rhymes. Are you ready for Humpty Dumpty? Here we go. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Oh look, there he is. Hi Humpty. Hi Miss Booksy. Whoa. Watch out Humpty, boy is he clumsy. No I'm not, I'm just whoa, whoa. I'm okay. Seriously, if you're not careful, you're going to fall. Don't worry about me. I'm good. Okay. I'm fine. Whoa, oh dear. Whoa. Well, whoa. you probably saw whoa. this coming, but... Ah! Uh-oh. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men. Oh, wait a second. Hi, this is Miss Booksy from Cool School. Could you please send all the king's horses and all the king's men to 123 Cool School Place, the back wall. There's been an accident. I can't believe it. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. <sighs> but I know who can. Crafty Carol. Hello? Is there a crafting emergency? Hi, Crafty Carol. It's Miss Booksy. We've got a little problem that I think you can solve. Can you show the kids how to put Humpty Dumpty back together again? Well, of course I can. I'll scramble on over to my crafting table right now. Yay. Thanks, Crafty Carol. Oh, you betcha, Miss Booksy. Hey there, boys and girls. Crafty Carol here, and I'm gonna show you how I would put Humpty Dumpty back together again. I just use paper mache. And here is what you need if you want to make a paper mache egg just like Humpty Dumpty. You're gonna need a balloon, newspaper cut into strips, white paper also cut into strips, flour, water, a container to mix your flour and water, white paint and a brush, markers, some string, and some candy, just in case. Okay, first step, you're gonna mix up flour and water. Next, you're gonna stir it up until it's nice and tasty. Like this, look at that. Next step, you blow up your balloon. Then you tie a string to the balloon. Of course, right now, if this balloon was full of helium, this is when it would float up into the air, all nice, but it's not. It's just full of Crafty Carol breath. Well, okay, we're ready for the paper mache part. So you just take some newspaper, dip it in the paste, smurge it onto your balloon. And then you're gonna add your white pieces last so that your egg is easier to paint and decorate. It's kinda like pieces of eggshell. Now we're gonna need to let this dry for a long time. So, good night. It's very important that it's completely dry and hardened. Ours feels pretty hard there, yeah? Next step, we're gonna get them all painted up. Next step, we just gotta let our paint dry. Get out of here. So it's time to give Humpty some eyes and a mouth. I'm gonna flip him over. It's just two circles. All right, now we got some nice eyes there staring right at you. I'm gonna challenge you to a staring contest. Watch out, because this guy doesn't blink. Okay, now let's draw a little mouth. Do you think Humpty should have a bow tie? I think that he should. I'm gonna use this red marker here. Oh my gosh, so fancy. All right, I'm just gonna take this circle all the way around. Oh my gosh, boys and girls, that looks exactly like Humpty Dumpty. Oh my gosh, are you glad to be back together again? I sure am. Thanks, Carol. Next step. You're just gonna pop the balloon and pull it out. Got a nice little hole poked in there. Look at this. Just pull it right out. Now here is where the candy comes in. You can fill up your egg and turn it into a pinata. And I guess you'd have Humpty Dumpty all in pieces again when you, when you whack them with a stick to get the candy out. But you know, you'd have a lot of candy and you'd have a lot of fun. So it's up to you. Just don't go setting him on any walls. Wow, Carol, that was an excellent example of being a problem solver. Well, thanks for giving me a call, Miss Books. I'm always happy to help a friend. <laughs> and hey, thank you out there for watching these videos here at Cool School. You know, you can watch the entire Sesame Street Nursery Rhyme Week playlist right here. 